back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming this bronze goldy smoky eye for you. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So we are going to start off with the eyes. Um, I'm priming my eyes and just, you know, letting it soak in. Then I am going to take this stark eyeshadow from the Gwen Stefani palette by Urban Decay and I'm going to basically set my whole eye area, lid, crease, brow bone, all that fun jazz um, with this eyeshadow because it's, you know, my skin color. So then I am going to take this color by Makeup Geek, this is Peaches and Cream. I will have all the products listed down below in the description bar. And I'm going to take this and use this as a crease transition color. Basically, it's swiping it all over my crease, not in any particular motion, just windshield wiper and circular motions. And then I'm going to take Naked from the Naked 2 palette, and I'm going to take my Morphe brushes set that I got for Christmas. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. I will also link this down below. The brushes don't have um, the numbers on them, so I couldn't tell you which ones they are right now. But again, I will link it down below, but I'm using one of the fluffy brushes, a little bit taper, to put Naked in my crease. It, this is a gorgeous color. I find myself using it basically every single time I do my makeup. It is so nice to use as a, another neutral transition color. Also from the Naked Palette, Buck. It is a little bit of a warmer brown, and I'm going to be using the brush that came in the palette, and I'm going to swipe it on the outer V, outer C of my eyes, and basically just kind of defining it and making it warmer. brush that also came in the kit this is the small tapered brush and I'm going to blend 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 that out again just so it's nice and smooth and we can fit other colors over it then I'm going to go in with that pale brown shade from the Gwen Stefani palette again all products mentioned will be listed below and I'm going to basically throw that in the crease so then I'm taking that same brush and I am dipping it in that very warm Morphe shadow in my Z palette and I'm defining my crease with it. It is such a beautiful warm chocolatey shade. Um, it's more like a fudge shade. And I am just blending that out in the crease to give it that warmth and that, you know, bronze eye. And then I'm mixing it with the other shade next to it that's more of a neutral brown. Again, everything will be listed down below, but I am using a Smith Cosmetics definer brush to define the outer V. And then I'm going to go in after that with an It Cosmetics brush and a shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, the darkest contour shade, and define my outer V as well. And the star of the show is this beautiful MAC pigment. Oh my goodness, it is so beautifully gorgeous. It is a warm gold shade, and I sprayed it with some Fix Plus before applying it on my lid with a naked brush. And I just apply that all over my lid. I do not apply it on the very outer V. I leave that completely blank. I do it almost all the way up to my crease and then I take those dark chocolatey shades again from Morphe in my Z palette and blend it out with the Smith Cosmetics brush and then I blend it out again with the Morphe Small blending brush. And now we are moving on to the face. Take any fallout you have under your eyes and wipe it away and then I'm using the Nivea Post Shave Balm to prime my face. Ever since Nikki Tutorials has used this, I have, and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm using it for this look, and it is so beautiful. And then I'm going to take the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I am in the shade 117, or technically Y225, and I am pumping it on the back of my hand and then just applying it all over my face. And I am blending it out with a damp beauty blender. This is the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge, and I absolutely love this. I highly recommend it. I'm going to conceal. 
see on my under eyes, the first product I'm going to use is a salmon shade. This is a color corrector shade from NYX. Um, it's the salmon shade in light. And I'm going to color correct and conceal the very much purple under eyes I have. Um, it helps take away the blue, the purple, and it blends out so beautifully with the Beauty Blender. It is not cakey at all. And then I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And I'm going to conceal and highlight my under eyes. I'm going to put this in a V shape, just slather it on because I love my concealer. I'm going to put that under my eyes. I'm going to put that on my forehead, bridge of my nose, chin, and my cupid's bow. And I'm also going to blend that out with a Real Technique sponge. I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is actually the first time I've used it. And I am going with the Smith Cosmetics Brush. This is the 213, I believe. Again, everything will be listed out below. This is the softest brush I have ever used on my face. I am so obsessed. And this was the first time I used the powder as well. And it was so beautiful. I mean, this is just like the softest, deli most delicate, beautiful combination ever and I put it around my nose as well. And then I am going to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown as always. This is my Holy Grail brow product and you know, it's heavenly. Also, say hello to my father. Also, say hello to my brother. Hope you enjoyed that little family moment there. <laughs> I'm then going to take these two gold, sa oh, gold shades in the middle of the Naked Two palette. I'm going to take the lighter one and where I left my eye blank and edit the matte gold pigment. I'm going to take the lighter shade of the Naked Two palette and I am going to pop that on the middle slash outer corner of my eye along with the darker shade. And then I'm taking this liquid highlight and I'm going to pop it on the tops of my cheekbones before I set it with any powder highlight. This is so beautiful, it blends out nicely, it sticks the powder right on top. And then, oh my goodness, I, do you see my face there? Yeah, oh my goodness. This is the Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill and Becca collaboration. This is the Champagne Glow Holiday Palette and I'm mixing Champagne Pop and Pearl and popping it basically all over my face. If I could put my whole body and cover it with these highlighters, I would, <laughs> but I'm just popping it on the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, and Cupid's bow. And then I am going into my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, taking the two latest shades with my Borghese brush, and I am going to contour my face just lightly. Um, I love this brush and these shades together. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. And I'm going to, you know, contour my cheekbones, my forehead a little bit, and then my jawline as well. Then I'm going to take that Laura Mercier translucent powder again and kind of just, you know, sharpen that contour out just underneath a little bit. And then I'm going to take this BH Cosmetics brush and blend out that contour so there are no harsh lines and it blends in beautifully with the highlighter. And then I am going to go in with a very small little pea brush. It's like a dome shape flat final brush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to take Naked and also 1987 from the Gwen Stefani palette and put that underneath my eyes on the lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Black Pencil Liner and do my upper waterline um, right underneath my lashes and then I'm going to do my waterline underneath um, on my lower lashes as well and then I'm going to take Naked from the Naked palette in 1987 and blend out my lower lash line um, with a brush from BH Cosmetics and then I'm going to take Buck and do that as well and then I'm going to go in with my little Morphe palette or my Morphe shadows and go under my eyes as well and then I am taking these Ardell lashes they are 120 and these are beautiful I have done this little trick ever since I was a little girl when I danced and wore thick eyelashes for my dance recitals and I wrap it around my finger to give it an eye shape and then I put do 
Duo Lash Glue on the lashes. This is waterproof and latex free. I highly recommend it. This is the only lash glue I use anymore on myself or my clients. And I'm going to apply these beautiful lashes. They're natural, yet they're, you know, they give that cat eye effect. And they're a little bit glam as well, so I felt it was perfect for this look. Um, I didn't want to put any black gel liner on my eyes because I didn't want to take any weight away from the pigment and I just felt like the lashes did it justice. Then I'm going to take this Maybelline Rock of Volume mascara and put it on my upper lashes and lower lashes just to blend in those fake lashes. Um, I have used this mascara for so long. You know, I've used a bunch of different mascaras, but I always end up going back to this one. I actually use this mascara on an obviously not the same tube, but the same type of mascara in my very first tutorial. And then I'm taking this Lord & Berry Lip Liner and lining my lips. This is a beautiful, beautiful natural lip liner, and it blends beautifully. So I'm just gonna line my lips with that and fill them in. I am also enjoying Sectorial Bio's music right now. And then I'm going to go on with this NARS lip color, and this is in the color Cruella. I am insanely obsessed with this lip color more than anything. <laughs> this is my go-to red, and it is so long-lasting, and I absolutely love it. And then I'm going to go back in with the Champagne Glow Palette and highlight some more because, you know, I don't think I could ever go too much with this highlight. Like, let's be honest, it's beautiful. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with Champagne Pop, and I am going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes with it. This is so nice because it reflects the gold and it is just so nice to highlight with. And then I'm going to also highlight my brow bone and I'm also going to do a little bit more contouring and blend that out again. I just want it to be a little more, you know, dramatic. <laughs> and then I'm also going to contour my nose just a little bit and blend it out with my finger. And that is it for, the, for this tutorial. I really hope you loved it. Um, stay tuned for some bloopers. And I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Mwah. See you soon. Daughter. Daughter. Dad. Pale. Tan. I don't know. All I know is I have to be at Bailey's house <laughs> having fun at 1.30 and we're leaving. I feel at like an angel. I just want to have to spend too much time at Devin's house because Justin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's how it works. You want to get down? <laughs> foundation all over your face. No. Good. Yep. That was great. I love you. Love you too. Oh, Mark, can you pause that and get yeah. rid of these guys? Pause that and get rid of these guys. Ethan's doing makeup real quick. He's literally putting yeah. it on his eyes. Oh, wait, he's got Look at the camera. Put this up. Fish. Can you put the mascara on my eyebrows? <laughs> he's got doggy fish and makeup problem. Whoa. We were just checking him. It had nothing to do with anything. Come here, little man. Alright, look at the camera. Wait, what are you talking that, right for? There. Alice, what's no, that's too for? nice of a brush. It's too Alice, expensive. Use this one. I need my hand up here. He's ducking. Why? You guys hit him? Where you Where's the dust stuff that I can put on my face? I don't have it out yet. Good job, Ethan. Oh. That was beautiful. I know. Do you look at the camera? Don't touch me. Yeah. Good job. Beautiful mascara. I know. Alright. I guess Dad wants Thanks. me to get rid of you. I'm already ready. Oh, get rid of you. I love you all my heart, I, I mean, I mean all good. I know. I mean all good for you. Don't worry, I <laughs> Lily! <laughs> Lily! <laughs> hey, it's just me! <laughs> just me! Shh! It's just me. Shh! It's just me. Back to bed. Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you soon.